As promised in our best AI upscalers for 2024 video, in this video, we're going to be doing a slideshow comparison so that you can be the final judge on which is the best upscaler. Make sure to stick around till the end as I'm going to be doing a quick analysis of the result. Now let's get on with the slideshow. So I hope you enjoy the slideshow. Let's perform a quick analysis of the results. With regards to Leonardo AI, in terms of positives, Leonardo AI gave results comparable to and sometimes outperforming conventional AI upscalers, making me think its universal title is justified. As you can see here, Leonardo correctly cleaned up the artifacts, and despite using generative AI, its results for the most part look pretty close to the original as long as you set the creativity slider to low. And that is not my experience with other generative AI-based upscalers. In terms of negatives, this test image did look like it had a face transplant, even with a low creativity value. Also, Leonardo is limited to upscale up to a maximum of two times, which might be too small for some. Finally, as I mentioned in the previous video, it was the most expensive tool on this list. Moving on from Leonardo to On1 Resize AI, on the plus side, On1 delivered the sharpest output among its competitors and did its best work with animal images. It also supports batch processing, something that Leonardo does not. Finally, it was the cheapest upscaler on this list at $59.99. On the negative side, On1 was the weakest performer in removing compression artifacts. As you can see here, every other upscaler cleaned up this particular image correctly. Also, as I mentioned in the previous video, it baffingly introduced additional artifacts, which made certain images look worse and unusable. Finally, its face recovery did not perform adequately, as you can see here. Next, let's move on to Luminar Upscale AI. On the positive side, Luminar was much more reliable in cleaning up artifacts as compared to On1 and did not introduce new artifacts itself no matter how bad the input source was. Its face recovery also worked in this example to remove the disfigurement from the source, which On1 failed to do. On the negative side, some of its processing did result in overly smoothing of details. Also, unlike On1, Luminar Neo did not support batch resizing. You have to do one image at a time. And finally, let's move on to the champion Topaz Photo AI. The standout feature of Photo AI over Luminar Upscale 
are as follows. First, better artifact removal. Just like Luminar, Topaz was able to produce clean images, but better than Luminar, it does so without a tendency to hit fine detail. Second, better than Luminar, it supports batch processing. You can dump any number of images and its autopilot technology will smartly analyze and autocorrect any problems and that includes upscaling. Topaz also had the best interface and navigation and was far better in the user experience than anything in this list. Finally, Topaz face recovery was also successful in reconstructing the distorted face. On the negative side, Topaz 199 US dollar price tag might be too much for some, but given its top upscaling quality paired with its top denoising ability, the price in many ways is actually great value. So that is the analysis. I hope you found this slideshow comparison useful. Let me know which upscaler you use and which upscaler you thought was the winner. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.